yo what's up what's going on welcome back to my channel i'm amber for today's video we are talking about money and makeup when to splurge when to save and this video is going to be me talking no demos no tutorials no products or whatnot that i'm specifically talking about so um if you don't like long videos listening to someone talk you know click out but however if you are into this let's get into it so money and makeup this is something that I have really really kind of been focusing on probably since I want to say right around Christmas time because I feel like Christmas is when makeup companies really start to push out a ton of makeup I mean it's just like bang 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 so you have all these brands pushing out products throw that into the mix with a little bit of Instagram throw that into the mix with YouTube and brand and sponsorships and people on IG stories and snaps saying oh this is great you need this you need this you need that it can be a lot and it kind of leaves you to the point of oh my gosh a I'm overwhelmed B uh, I need this to look a certain way if I don't use this then I don't know what I'm doing or, or I don't look good wrong 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 and wrong me myself I am a minimal person I'm that way when it comes to my closet I made myself that way with my makeup I'm that way in my home I do not like to have a lot of cluttered mess I can't stand it so breaking that down into terms of the makeup I really realized it when I was doing my foundation and you guys I have a video I went through my foundation collection and basically threw away the whole thing and in the process of me doing that I realized oh girl you have wasted hundreds of dollars because you know product comes out oh yeah I got tested out got tested out for my channel all well and good however after a while I feel like once you collect more than three foundations you're not going to use it there's just no way possible you can use all of that product so essentially I realized mm, I wasted a lot of money and where I'm at in my life right now and my goals and future plans and things that I have going on I cannot afford to waste money so that's why it's been on my mind to just kind of sit and talk to you guys about makeup and money so when should you splurge and when should you not everybody's financial situation is different so let's break it down to where I think you should splurge at versus where you can save that I feel this way if you are going to splurge on anything splurge on skincare and base products I feel like those two things right there when it comes to beauty are the most important and that is where it's really gonna make a difference let's start with skincare first okay I know a lot of brands they push out cleansers my thing with cleansers are I don't see a need for busting out an expensive cleanser because you put the cleanser on and guess what it's going down the drain in two seconds to me that doesn't make any sense my favorite cleanser is the Mario Badescu I'll use that one or Old Faithful <laughs> tried and true Neutrogena those two cool Neutrogena is very affordable I think the Mario Badescu acne cleanser might be somewhere around $12 I don't think it's over 15 so for me I'm like okay I can do that but I feel like once we start getting into like the 20 30 40 $50 range for a cleanser and I'm kind of like all we gotta do is cleanser skin like it shouldn't be that much I don't agree with it so cleanser I feel like save on that if you're going to splurge on your skincare the two things you should splurge on I feel like are your creams. so under eye cream again I like to use the Mario Badescu under eye cream with hyaluronic acid I like to use insta natural their gel their gel eye cream I like that formula specifically because it is a gel formula and I have oily acne prone skin so if you have oily acne prone skin that's going to be a good one insta natural is like a clean brand all of their ingredients are good and they're affordable that's the thing there are brands out there that are affordable like you don't always have to go pop up into a Sephora and Ulta and get your skincare and some naturals clean brand and it's affordable you can get them on Amazon amazing and then if you want to save a little bit of money do I like to use what is it the Shea Moisture the Shea Moisture youth infused eye cream I think that's the one I have in my kit yes I love that one works fine hydrates the under eye area perfect 
boom, there's your eye cream. And then as far as I'm concerned, for me, like if you are someone who really is struggling with dry skin, you wanna make sure you're having a really, really good nighttime mask. I feel like everyone should have a good mask, but something that you're putting on your skin, I feel like that is where you should put your money into. So anything that's more of hydrating, hyaluronic acid, anti-aging, those are the creams and things that you wanna spend your money on. For me, where I splurge with my skincare, Sunday Riley UFO Clarifying Oil. Again, I have oily acne prone skin. I use this as my night cream just simply because it is a dry oil. I'm sure you could use this in the morning, but because I'm so oily and I get sweaty easily, I don't think this would be good to pop on under my makeup. I put it on at night, I did a vlog on it. It's great, it works for my skin. So this is where I splurge on. This is my skincare splurge right here. Now the next thing that I think you should splurge on, foundations, your base. Your base is going to be essential. I feel like are there products out there that are affordable and they work and they look good? Absolutely. However, if you got a little extra change and you wanna, you know, up the ante a little bit, base products. Skincare and your base, first of all, well, let me, let me back it up. If your skincare is good, you can make any base look good. However, I feel like if you have good skincare and a good base, girl, you're gonna be unstoppable. So I say splurge on your foundation. Pick your one foundation, find your foundation that works for you, that is going to be your basic everyday foundation. In the process of doing this, go to these counters, go to Sephora, ask for samples. I'm notorious for getting samples, especially now since I will, I have my foundation collection right now, I have three foundations, that's it. So when there is a new foundation that's coming out and I wanna try it for you guys, I'm not gonna buy the whole thing, cause one, I don't know how it's gonna work on my skin, and two, I'm not gonna put my myself in that same situation where at the end of the year I'm like oh shoot I've wasted five to six hundred dollars on foundations go to Sephora get your sample try things out determine what's going to work for you and then once you find that one foundation that's going to be your everyday holy grail foundation rock with that one you know that's a good way to do it so splurging on your skincare, on your foundations, um, powders. I don't really, what's my powder? My favorite powder of all time, I love the Sasha Buttercup. That is what works for me. I like the yellow undertone. I feel like the yellow undertone is person of color friendly. So anyone that's medium to deep dark skin, it's gonna work for. Do I necessarily think that powders are something that you need to splurge on? Mm -hmm. Yes and no. Again, it's gonna be, it's gonna depend on your skin type because for someone who has dry skin, they don't need to go out and splurge on a powder just simply because powders on drier skin textures might intensify the dryness of the skin. However, if you are someone that is oily, maybe you might need to up the ante a little bit and you know, splurge on your powder. So those are the things that I think as far as makeup goes, that is where you need to splurge on. I think a question that someone asked me, they're like, okay, what about primers? I don't know, I don't really, I, Primers, I go back and forth with primers. I did a video last year asking are primers necessary where I tested it out one side of my face I had on a primer on the other side I did not. In some scenarios, I think yes, primers are necessary and then in other scenarios, I think they don't do anything. So again, I think that's gonna be a little bit subjective in what works for your skin type. However, me, am I someone that spends a ton of money on primers? No, not really, I'm not gonna lie. I just don't. I, for just because I am so oily, I don't really see a result in a, in a primer that's really keeping me matte. The only primer that I feel like that does do a little, that does a job at keeping me matte is the Becca Ever Matte Primer. Warning, if you are not classified as super oily, don't put that on because it'll <laughs> it'll really keep things nice and matte. However, I feel like this too, your foundation formula is gonna play a lot of that. So if you have a good foundation formula that works for your skin type, then maybe you don't necessarily need a primer. Again, I don't know, like I said, I'm being honest with you guys, I'm still kinda on the fence with primers. 
And then there's only one other thing that I think you should probably splurge on. That's your brushes, your tools. I'm a makeup artist, so I have to have a lot of different brushes. Now on my personal brush in on my side, no, I, I don't do that. Brushes are something that I don't really fool around with. I don't try a lot of different brushes because my thing is for my personal kit, for my personal brushes, I got what I need. I know what works, I know what doesn't work. I don't like to have a bunch of brushes because I feel like the more brushes I have, that means the more brushes I have to clean and I absolutely hate cleaning my brushes. It's a process, especially when I have to go through after a job of working, I have to go through and clean my client kit brushes. I dread it, I typically, if I can, pay my nieces to do it because I don't like it. <laughs> but um, brushes, you wanna make sure that you have just your essential key brushes your powder brush, your blush brush, your bronzer, your eyeshadow brushes. I might do a video on my holy grail brushes, the ones that I use, so that way you guys can see a little bit in detail. Making sure, make sure that you have sufficient brushes because having decent brushes are really gonna play a key factor into your makeup application. Now, as far as saving, anything else that I did not mention, you can save on it. So you can save when it comes to mascaras. You can save when it comes to eyeliners. You can save when it comes to, I feel like, anything that's not a base product, you can save on. Oh, I forgot to mention, concealer. Concealer is something that I splurge on just simply because I have found that higher end concealers they work better. Eyeshadows, mascaras, lipsticks. You can make all that stuff work. Um, for instance, this e.l.f. palette here, this e.l.f. eyeshadow palette, is the Huda Beauty gonna be a better quality? Yes. Is my ABH or Urban Decay gonna be a better quality eyeshadow? Absolutely, but guess what? You can make this work. You can make e.l.f. eyeshadow work. You can make Wet n Wild eyeshadow work. In fact, going back to face products, one of my favorite blushes is a blush by Wet n while so that just goes to show you too blush is something that I necessarily don't really spend a lot of money on just simply because I have two blushes and they just get me through but eyeshadows I love eyeshadow I'm an eyeshadow junkie myself I that's why I have so much of it but I had to scale back on that as well as kind of look at my my collection and say okay look at all these colors you got here girl do you really need anything else no not really so for me when I am buying eyeshadows I have to really look at it I gotta study it I have to swatch it I have to really think into consideration do I have anything like this because if I already have something like this I probably don't need to buy it so don't get out here and feel like you have to have the Marc Jacobs highliner eyeliner that's $28 I'm disgusted that I love that eyeshadow that I love that eyeliner so much is it good absolutely is it nice to splurge on yourself yeah now don't get it twisted definitely splurge on yourself because you work hard and I am a firm believer that you were not put on this earth to work and pay bills you know what I mean it is cool to splurge out on products like I splurged on this Becca lip gloss was this necessary no but it was my splurge it was my treat to myself however just breaking down your whole makeup collection and looking at things I feel like if you know we're balling on a budget right now and we need something it's important to know where we can save and where we can splurge all right guys so I hope that this video was helpful please let me know down below if you like it also I want to hear you guys opinions too keep in mind that I am NOT the makeup savant I don't know it all. I will never know it all. So I love learning too. I'm very aware of that. These are just my opinions and everyone's not going to agree with you and that's okay, but we can still have a tactful conversation as far as our thoughts and our opinions go. All right. So thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate you. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.